Think you're ready to do calibrations? Think again. I'm going to share with you what you need to consider before recalibrating ADAS systems. Next. Many shops think buying equipment is all they need to do to start doing calibrations. But first, you need to ask yourself, where am I going to do these calibrations? What does the OEM require? And what are the requirements for that space? The first thing is the size of the space. If you're just doing forward-facing cameras located on windshields, then you're looking for a long space that can accommodate the vehicle and the space required to set up targets. It could be up to 14 feet from the front of the vehicle. Now, let's look at what is at the end of that 14 feet or possibly more. The cameras use contrasting targets. Think about what is on the walls behind the static targets or what equipment is in the vicinity. This can and will either fail the calibration or set a diagnostic trouble code. Next, examine the lighting. Some LED lights can affect the cameras as well as shadows and sunlight. Like a photo shoot, you need to be aware of what can interfere with the calibration as far as the angle of light and reflection on the hood, as well as the camera lens. The biggest item overlooked for calibrations is the floor. How many shops have actually checked what the OE requirements are for having a level floor? A calibration is only as good as the prep you put into it and the people who do the calibration. Just because it appeared to calibrate doesn't mean it's right. Differences of one degree can make the difference between a successful calibration and a catastrophe for your customer and or the car they interact with on the roadway. If you're going to be doing calibrations for blind spot monitors, you must also consider how wide the space is. Many will look up what is needed for a correct radar calibration, but if both sides need to be done, depending on how you set up the space, if it is wide enough, you can do both at the same time. If the car needs to be moved because you did not accommodate for both radars, you will need to set up and remeasure the vehicle. Keep in mind that all this space must meet the OE specs for being level and you need to document all the time and labor that needs to be billed. As you can see, recalibrating ADAS systems is much more than just buying the equipment. Make sure you look up the manufacturer's preconditioned requirements before you embark on any calibrations each and every time. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.